Hello. So I um, was thrifting again and I found this tablecloth. It's linen damask and it is white and pink on the one side and pink and white on the other side. And I, I, I just felt crazy in love with this. Uh, and I bought it, even though it's quite small. Um, I haven't made either blouses with this size tablecloth. So this is what I'm doing. I'm doing a, a blouse with uh, three quarter length sleeves, I guess. And it will be shorter in the back because that's how I like it. Um, not sure when I made the first one like that, but uh, I have made it many since. And this orange one uh, is one that I also made from quite a small tablecloth. Um, this is the salvage edge. Uh, it's very nice so I left it as it is and I mean I love this. This is also linen. I'm going to use this uh, as a pattern but also this little pink thing I made very recently because uh, it's shorter in the back. And this, this short is how, how short I actually want it because then it hangs just, well, here. Um, and I like that length uh, I find uh, very much so well uh, what I did with this pink tablecloth was I unpicked the little hand felt seams sorry not seams um, hems that were on here uh, very neatly sewn I unpicked that, I overlocked the raw edge and then I washed it really well, I mean the free laundry and the whatever and hung it up to dry. I then ironed it and I folded it uh, and I in this case, do trust the uh, squares and lines to actually be straight. So I, I measured how, I mean, this distance from the shoulder down to the hem back. I measured that and then I just I found the appropriate line and ironed that crease and then folded it in half. So now I have a folded and you can see how much shorter it is in the back. And because this is so different on, on the both sides is the pink and white on one side and white pink on the other side. I'm going to make this reversible so I can wear it both ways. Anyway, uh, actually let's get to cutting. So this orange blouse I made before I started uh, top stitching down all the um, 
seam allowances so I am really using that uh, so maybe I should have ironed it but I'm not gonna uh, I'm not going to add anything because the seam allowance is there, right? So, I haven't really decided what to do with the front yet. Uh, so I'm going to just cut this line all the way down to here mm, and then we'll decide later. the neckline I <laughs> well yes it's the square one because you know how much I like it now because we're making this reversible Um, I haven't really decided on how to uh, if I want to do a rolled hem or maybe some sort of ribbon situation I haven't decided and I should I really should decide because it frays right it frays so I'm going to break out my ribbon box <clears throat> and see what I got I think it's time to get a bigger box so no orange no yellow to point out that almost everything in here is thrifted.
So we got some options there. Uh, regular bias tape. This is linen tape. It's not on the bias. And this is a cotton ribbon. It's also not on the bias, but the color is excellent, I would say. I think um, the sensible thing is to go for the bias tape because that is so much easier so much easier and I do believe there's enough there yes I bought a whole whole roll of bias tape at the thrift store and this would make me sew it all by hand and also this hasn't been washed I don't know if this will shrink I've never used any of those um, and this also hand sewing and not bias so we do the easy choice and use the pink bias tape decisions made so I uh, folded it lengthways uh, instead uh, so this these are the sleeves this is the back this is the front I have my heavy thing on here now what I'm thinking uh, because this is stripey and crisscrossy thing, this uh, is just touching this line here, right? So I'm going to cut in that line uh, because of the bias tape, obviously, because we won't be folding anything. Uh, so with the bias tape, uh, what you cut is there and also down here I will be using the line that is slightly below my pattern piece because this piece is uh, thought out to fold away the edges so it will be very modest you know <laughs> one centimeter here or there but um, I want to cut in this line here um, yes and this is a curved line so we're not going to bother with this one uh, so what I'm going to do I'm going to draw with some Taylor's chalk happens to be pink of course but uh, well run with it uh, and down here right and straight line there And keep your fingers crossed. Um, let's get to cutting. And yes, yes, I'm cutting away the marking I made. Not because it won't go away in the laundry, but you know, because I want it slightly bigger 
And here's this straight line here. Down to the curve. Going to the straight line here. I have to say, it's looking very quite perfect. There's a smidge here I will cut away because it apparently hadn't folded itself quite as neatly as I thought. So that's a smidge and bias tape next. Bias tape is on. This is the front. I have to say, it looks great from both sides. Anyway, um, the next thing uh, would be to sew the sides, right? But We have this situation here. Um, I cut it like this because I wanted the options. Um, and I have decided uh, that instead of cutting this piece off here and round, round it out, uh, I have decided to um, uh, what's it called? Hmm. Well, you you sew threads all this way and. I can't, I can't, uh, anyway, so I'm going to scrunch this up and sew it like that. Um, and I'm going to sew those seams that you use to, hmm. uh, and I'm going to start that um, thread gathering thread that's what it's called gather i'm going to gather up the front <laughs> uh from just underneath the armpit so this is the armpit um so i'm going to start uh let's say uh this um line here because it's equal on both sides so i'm going to sew that um from those uh points there down to or the edge obviously and uh, gather it up um and then we're going to use those what are they called flat felled seams I think um, because I mean if I do this seam it won't be reversible reversible uh, if I do this seam it won't be reversible um, so that's what we're doing um, but gathering thread 
that's what it's called from just below the armpit and down uh, and um, yeah and obviously out in the what would be the seam allowance yes that's what we're doing so the uh, gathering threads are in and uh, for the um, seams uh, we'll be pinning them together like this uh, and then I will so uh, here just beside the um, overlock seam which isn't really necessary but you know it frays so I will sew there and I will fold it over iron it over like this and like so and I believe it's called flat felt I'm not sure but it looks kind of the same from both sides which is the point uh, because then it will be reversible so I'm going to pin it all together it will be quite tricky over here with all the gatherings but it will be done They're sewn. Well, half of them. So we're going to press this. And down like that and over. And over. And then obviously, so over here, right on the edge. Yes. It's almost done. Uh, really, what's left to do is put the bias tape along the bottom and clean up, <laughs> clean up all the threads, and then it's done. Ta-da! And this is the other side, of course. So it's... I'm so happy I could cry, right? Thanks for watching.